Day 25. No more condemnation. For God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. John chapter 3 verse 17. It was sin that condemned us to death because we were guilty as charged. Yet, the moment Jesus became sin for us, he cleansed us from our sins and then redeemed us into life through his resurrection. Because of Jesus, death no longer has a sting. For our sins have been removed by Jesus Christ. Because of the work of Jesus, we have gone from being a sinner and have become saints. Because of Jesus, you are not a sinner saved by grace. You were a sinner who has been saved by grace. You are no longer a sinner, but you are now a saint. Yes, you are now holy, that is, set apart. You have been set apart from the ranks of those who were condemned, to those who have been redeemed. Hallelujah. For you, there is no condemnation. In fact, there is no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. Your sins have been removed as far as the east is from the west. God does not even remember your sin anymore. Now, if God has forgiven you, redeemed you, set you apart, and does not remember your sin, I want to ask you this question. Why do you keep on bringing it up? Why do you continue to focus on the things that God does not even remember? God is trying to tell you today, I have handled it, so forget about it. Friend, if you are feeling condemnation, it is not of God. I'll say it again, condemnation is not from God. What is from God is conviction. If anyone has not received Christ... God convicts them of sin so that they can, in turn, look towards Jesus. The moment we look towards Jesus and accept him, God no longer convicts us of sin, but convicts us of righteousness. God convicts us of righteousness, or our right standing in him, so that we do not fall prey to the guilt, shame, and condemnation that comes from the enemy. He convicts us of righteousness that we may remember who we are in him. When we truly know who we are, We won't behave like who we are not. Remember, God does not look at you through the lens of your wrongdoings, but through the lens of the right doing of Jesus. By the way, did you know that in the biblical church, everyone who accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior was called a saint? It was not used for those who lived an exemplary life of piety towards God. Today, our meditation comes from Romans chapter 8, verse 1. Now, there is no more condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, help me live a life of freedom in what your Son has done for me. Help me live a life free from shame and condemnation. Amen.